Reggie's Corner Variety Gaming. Alright, welcome back to part 7 of this blind let's play of Intravenous and True Difficulty and we'll continue from where we left off in the last part. So yeah, let's do it. I was thinking about getting a beer, but we'll do that after we've deserved it. This baker, I heard of him before. Who is he? If I had to guess, he's the local drug kingpin. The shopkeeper gave us the name, but not much else. I've no idea where he is. It doesn't help that you've been killing all the people who gave us clues. But I guess that's par for the course. I'm afraid we're at a dead end. That shopkeeper guy said their folks will be on my ass day and night. I don't think they know this place, but that gives me an idea. Use yourself as bait, lure our friends in, and kindly ask them where to look for a local condiment vendor? Exactly. Just don't do it here. We can't risk the operation. Of course not. Alright. No, I'm okay with this. Uh, no. I mean, we have been okay with this setup. Abandoned complex, November 18th. Five past midnight. Think you'll manage? Yeah. If anything, they're more disadvantaged than I am. You managed to get the lights off? No dice. Power's fed to this place, even though it's abandoned. I suggest flipping the switches on any breaker box you find. Pick dark spots, don't try to fight them in broad daylight, or moonlight for that matter. I see them coming on the CCTVs. Get ready. Okay, we're here. Find this guy and put a bullet in him. See anything moving? You shoot first and ask questions later. Can't afford any fuck ups. I don't want to see any of you get shot, got it? Good. Now search the area and be careful. He could be anywhere. Make sure you got a flashlight before you go out. Neutralize all enemies. Um, 22 of them. And as per usual, I have a very aggressive playstyle, I probably die a lot, and I'll edit most of that out unless there's anything interesting happening or story bits occur. And I am playing on true difficulty, and that means there's only three saves per level. any Oh, he went inside?
so tempted to get like a grenade off. Oh no. A little bit more skill from my end, and that could have been good. But of course not. Yeah, it's the third button, yeah. Ah! Well, at least I got some. Got some kills from the grave. I got nothing? Really? That was super strange. That grenade should have killed a bunch of dudes. All the people was kind of blow up the light inside. Get an achievement, death metal. So many dudes in there. guy somewhere where could he be though Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Folks weren't willing to have a chat, but I got something for you. A phone. It's locked, but I'm sure you can have your way with it. Alright. Get it back here and I'll do the rest. Oh, abandoned complex results. Playtime 16 minutes 47 seconds. Enemies killed, well, obviously 22. Total enemies 21. Yeah. All right. Uh, bloodthirsty, obviously. 10 deaths before I got it working. We didn't actually use any saves, so that was a first. But yeah, short and good level. And we got the achievement Iron Man. All right. Now, however, we know we know what's coming, and we earned it. End of line for that asshole tonight, huh? Might as well crap, crack open a cold one right now, and we did. So. I think this is a good place to end off part 7 of this blind let's play of Entrapness. Hopefully you had as good of a time as I had, and I would appreciate it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. I also hope to see you again in the very next part, but for now, it is bye bye. <laughs>